Yo, what is up guys, this is Tiro back with another video and today I'm gonna be talking about the latest build of the Pixel Experience ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and we just received an update on the Pixel Experience ROM based on Android Pie and let me just show you as you can see this is the 12th September 2018 build so today I'm gonna talk about what are the things which are working fine and what are the things which I don't like about this ROM so yeah let's do it and as you can see the security patch is of September 5th 2018 which is the latest one and as you can see this ROM is based on pre-release 2 like which is the Android Pie release from Google the last time it was pre-release 1 as far as I remember and the kernel as you can see the stock kernel over here is the kernel for Redmi Note 5 Pro and Android version is 9 of course as you can see if you can do this and yeah everything is working super fine and as you can see the swipe up home gesture is there and work super fine and the fingerprint scanner too is working fine as you can see and in terms of the stock camera we still have the Mi A2 camera and portrait mode and stuff is working super fine so everything is fine I don't have any issues regarding the camera and I did not flash magic and stuff I'll try it later on and yeah magic flashing should be fine but I don't know if the camera to API is working fine now or not last time I tried camera to API and some camera mods it didn't work on this ROM so yeah I'll try it later on and Google Pay and stuff is working super fine without flashing magic so you don't have to worry and the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the app open up speeds and let me open Chrome file manager Facebook Twitter and as you can see the app open up speeds are fine now let's see if the apps are in memory As you can see the Android Pie animations are there and all the apps are almost in memory. So yeah, everything is fine and super smooth. So we don't have any issues over here. And let me tell you some things that I have a request to the developer for the first time of this ROM that I need you to include some things like please. Well, first thing that I do not like on this ROM is you can't just swipe down on the home screen to get to the notification drawer which is annoying and this is the common thing on most ROMs like on every other custom ROM you can get it but not on this I get it that is it is a pixel experience and on pixel devices it does it is not present but like some little bit of customizations would not hamper the experience I guess so this is a very minor thing and I'm gonna talk about some more minor things like there is no double tap to sleep but if you go into settings and display and you will see that there is the double tap to wake functionality which I do not really use but I would love the double tap to sleep on the status bar because every time pressing the power button in the long term might damage the power button which I faced in the past with the Redmi Note 3 that the power button breaks down kind of so yeah I would love to see the double tap to sleep option over here and one more thing that I want to talk about is if you insert a headphone it won't show you the headphone icon over here which is a bit annoying you don't get the system UI tuner over here on Android Pie like we used to get with the Android Audio or 8.1 I guess so for that you need Nova Launcher I guess but I did not install it I'm just talking stock so on stock version you won't get the headphone jack even while you are like inserting a headphone so yeah that is a bit annoying otherwise the ROM is working super smooth and everything is working super fine we have the Google now cards to the left as you can see and the launcher is smooth works super fine no issues whatsoever and everything works super fine watching YouTube videos and stuff and and even PUBG gameplay I did play games on this ROM and everything is working super fine but Still the Mi calculator simply doesn't work as you can see it just four stops so yeah that is that and 
let me just show you you have the night mode option from here and let me just go into settings we have battery option over here you can enable the battery percentage from here and let me just show you that i got almost five hours of screen on time as you can see four hours and 58 minutes as it shows over here and i still have 56 percent juice left which is amazing and let me show you the battery usage as you can see the last time i charged my phone was 13 hours ago and i still have 56 percent battery left so in terms of battery life i do not have any complaints and the battery life is super fine and let me show you we have the digital well-being over here and you can like see stuff from here like whatever you did all day long so yeah it just records whatever you do on your phone and you have this wind down schedule option which makes the screen grayscale so yeah you can definitely update this rom if you were on this rom if you don't know how to install it you just have to like go into twrp i'm just assuming that you have unlocked bootloader on your redmi note 5 pro you just have to like you just need to have twrp recovery which is the latest one 3230 i guess boot into twrp just wipe cache dalvik system data and just flash the rom and you don't have to flash g apps or something everything works super fine so yeah that's what i wanted to talk to you guys on this video this is ben tito you guys have been watching carry and tech give it a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and this is tito from carry and tech signing off i'll see you in the next one bye now